Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Monday, September 26, 2022. And Princess Hannah Grace is on top of my left leg, the majority of her weight. Um, very, very odd feeling this morning. Um, I actually just got up because when she lays on top of me, it starts pulling the fluids out, so I have to use the restroom. When I stood up, my leg felt like it had a sack of fluid hanging from it, but it was attached, it felt like it was attached. And it like was at the top, like my lower thigh and like all my knee area on my left leg. Weirdest feeling ever. So um, I got back, got, got back up here and she laid right back down and she's got the bulk of her weight um, laying on top of me. So today is bonus day 122. What a gift. Um, hope you enjoyed our little chicken video. Oh my gosh, they are the cutest little things running around. And um, the little ones that, you know, they were all wet yesterday because it's rainy. Well, they've dried overnight. They look like little punk rockers running around with their little hairdos. Oh my gosh, they are so darn cute. So maybe later today I can upload a video, but I just got to kind of lay low. It's going to get a shower, get ready for the day, but this, I got to get rid of this. I, this is the weirdest thing. I did a little bit of um, ballet. Um, it's always been something that I've loved ever since I was little. I walk around on my tiptoes all the time. And um, I'm sure that that helped get my get the fluids moving as well. Um, but I want to read a devotion and I, I'm sure I uploaded this a while ago. Um, I'm not sure what year it's from, but um, I'm going to read it again because it's apropos of what is going on in today's world. So here we go. The homework assignment is to read 1 Timothy 6, verses 3 through 21, and Psalms 46, verses 8 through 11. Fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called, and about which you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. 1 Timothy 6, verse 12. And... This reading is entitled, The Good Fight. As a child, did you ever build a fortress out of snow and battle it out with your siblings or the other children in the neighborhood? Snowballs would be lobbed back and forth from the safe places each side had created to hide behind and store their snowballs. Being a kid was so much fun. Each fortress was a place of safety where its children could engage in the fight until everyone got too tired or too cold and went home. Do you live in a fortress now? The psalmist tells us that the Lord is our fortress. He is our place of safety and contentment in this world. As we fight against the loves of sin and evil, that come whizzing at us and challenging our faith. We can be content in this world, knowing that Christ has paid the price for our sins. And we will have eternal life if we confess that we believe Christ has saved us. Paul encourages Timothy and all of us to find contentment as we fight the good fight in this life while seeking righteousness, godliness, faith, love, steadfastness, and gentleness. We have eternal life in Christ Jesus, so we have already won the battle. Lord, may we find contentment in confessing that Christ has served, saved us as we fight the good fight. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I hope um, you're having a good Monday thus far. Um, prayers are needed, obviously, with feeling like I have a sack of fluid on my left leg. Um, weirdest thing, I've never had that feeling before. 
So um, one of my um, tribe brothers had um, gifted me some, I, I, it starts with an M. Anyway, I'll have to put it in the, in the, the description. And it's supposed to help get the fluids out, et cetera. So I got to guess that that might be why my leg feels like it's got that sack of fluids in it. I don't know, because it's the only new thing that I've put in my body that's supposed to help expunge it, expunge fluids and congestion and all that stuff. So I can still hear the congestion in my voice because it's kind of a little raspy. So I need to um, add some more of that fun little, I think it's a wild, it might be an herb, wild, I don't know. It's something that God provided us that's good for all of us. So why not put it in my body if it's going to help me heal from the inside out? That's the way I look at it, but I can tell you, when I stood up and felt like I had a sack hanging from my leg, that freaked me out. I was like, what in the frick? <laughs> And to look at it, it didn't look like, I don't, it's just weird. It's just really odd. So anyway, prayers are needed. Um, and um, pray that more people make a call to Jesus today and find his light within the darkness of this world. Love to all bunches and bunches. Bye.